Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, when you're using your vehicle, you have to keep in mind that the vehicle is essentially a missile. If any of you remember uh, Mr. Perkins he used to say that, your, your vehicle is essentially like a moving missile on a street. Now, I had a friend in college and for whatever reason he got confused at the Shipley's Donuts and instead of braking he actually hit the gas and went straight through the plate glass window into the donut shop. He wanted some donuts. He wanted some donuts really bad. So he just literally drove in to the Shipley's Whoa. to get the donuts. Now something similar has happened in South Haven just this very week. What happened this weekend? Sunday, some lady had came and she thought she was going to reverse, but she put on the gas really, really hard, like really hard. Uh, she's going to import a picture. And she smashed against the pillar in front of Baskin Robbins. And the thing about it is we came back, me and my coworker, you're going to see a picture. We had came back, got some chicken. I've been there all day. I love chicken. And we go in the back, we're sitting down, haven't ate the food yet. Just looking at it and admiring it. Finna open it up, needed some ranch. They ain't give me no ranch. I hear a boom. I'm thinking somebody just banged on the door. Go to the front. This lady is inside the pillar. She gets out the car. I'm like, are you okay? You okay? She's like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. We looking around. I'm like, okay, can I get your insurance? And she, she's, she's looking, she's like puzzled. I'm like, and can I get your number and your license stuff? She was looking at me. I'm like, give me your information. You're gonna pay for this. Um, but make sure you're okay first. And we're waiting for the police. The police come. They were recording videos. That was actually laughing. Um, and then after that, we went to the side in there. We had to clean up, we had to close because of that. And the lady came in. She said, can I use your bathroom? <laughs> I don't think you can use our bathroom. I don't, I don't think so. What, you want to destroy this too? Look, first of all, let's back up just a little bit. Where do you get decent chicken right there in that little area? Because I haven't known any place right I around have, there. I just tried this new spot. It's um, like SW or something, SW chicken. Like It used to be where like a new, like I think it was Wing Guru or something like that. All right, that's it's sounds, just wings. It's just that wings. That sounds shady. It was a okay. old. It's Second just Second of all, you said she was getting ready to reverse really fast. Yeah. If you're in that parking lot, you shouldn't be reversing fast Not at all. ever because you are going to hit somebody. Yes. That's a tight parking lot. That that's it was ridiculous. My my boss, she was so mad. She was pacing back and forth. All uh, that. And you were enjoying the show. Nah, I was mad because I'm trying to get my 80. 80 hours. You, you ain't gonna make 80 this No, week. probably not. I'm gonna work at Horn Lake. So, hey, if you wanna come to Horn Lake, uh, I'll probably be working there Monday, Tuesday, 12 to 6. Come see me. Wednesday, March 29, 2023. 
I'm Dylan, and today's top story highlights our golf team as they return from their first meet on Monday. The golf team had their first golf match uh, Monday yes. at uh, the day before today. Right at Wedgwood, was it Wedgwood? No, Cherokee Valley. Cherokee Valley. Well, they're bod. close. Yeah, they they're are. really close. Cherokee Valley, uh, in Olive Branch, yes. Mississippi, and it was the first time Horn Lake students have ever competed in a golf tournament. You know, the first time the school had a team in a long time when I was talking about the coaches, but mainly the first time that our kids played golf, and which is really a shame because, like, unlike Lewisburg and Hernando kids, our kids don't grow up playing golf, right? And our kids don't grow up watching John Wayne movies. Our kids don't grow up, you know, watching the Twilight Zone from the 60s. I mean, it's just, it's just things our kids don't have the experience to do. Have any of y'all watched a John Wayne movie? So my kids were kind of nervous. So I told them, you know, there's a force on the golf course. There's a force that controls everything. And all they got to do is just be the ball. Just be the ball. And some of them were being the ball. Some of them were not being the ball. Um, Eric Claros missed the cut by like three shots, I think, to play the bat nine. We got better. As the game went on, a lot of our kids were nervous and so it just got better as it went on and so i think a lot of it is the fact that you know it's just it's a cruel sport it's a hard sport i mean i'm 45 and there's days where i want to break my club over my knee but i don't do it you know so like i said there students fun. who've never played before you will go out one day and you will think that you were the best golf player ever and you yep. have a really good game and then the very next day you will go to the golf course the same golf course and play the exact same way you played the previous day yeah terrible and it's a sport that requires year round oh. and i mean year round it, uh, i think one year uh i i didn't play for almost like four months because i was so busy and i went back out there again and it was awful you know i mean it was not you know back in the 80s they had the um it was called the shell wonderful world of golf where they would get you know like some of the big you know like trevino and nicholas and those guys and they played each other you know on tv and when i hadn't played in four months i don't think i would have been picked for the shell wonderful world of golf that day because i was not that good but the point i'm making though is that you know our guys played well our, our guys competed well but it's just a hard sport and it's just you know it requires a lot of hand-eye coordination so it's a fall sport next school year so i'm trying to get some of the baseball players and maybe a few softball players to come play golf with us i'm trying let's, to get let's introduce the golf team this year Can yeah you do that off the top of your head eric claros jr mm -hmm. uh i think he's gonna try to go to q school i think in a couple of years and get on the tour um his brother christian claros and joseph larson ran out round out the uh, men's team okay uh larson uh is really good at chess for all of you that are big chess people, he's really good at chess, from what I understand. Right. Uh, and the, our, my women's team is led by the Clark Twins, uh, Jamara and Tyra. I can't tell which one's which by looking at them. I do know that one is left-handed, one is right-handed. I've gotten that far in trying to figure out who's who. <laughs> so I, I call one right-handed Clark, and I call the other one left-handed Clark. That sounds about like an island thing to do. Okay. And then Tanaya Coleman. Okay. So it's pretty good. You know, like I said, you know, we got a lot of compliments from other schools, other coaches. We just, our kids just don't grow up playing golf. Sure. And um, they had a girl yesterday named it's Esther uh, from uh, DC. I think she's got, I think she's going to be D1 from what I understand. And she hit a moonshot on a par three sevenths, which she literally hit it uh, up and it came down, you know, like, phew, Boom, the only Annika Sorensen shot to within three feet of the hole. Oh my and um, there was another boy who cut the corner on a, on a course. But like I said, it was fun. It was a great day. I'd be out there. It was, a, it was a great day in the golf course. You know, it was kind of chilly, but it warmed up great. So, it was good. so for students who might be interested in the fall season of golf, right? It's going to start in July. Practice? No, practice is going to start in June. I'm going to have tryouts in May. Practice starts in June. It's going to practice. It's going to be at night, about when five o'clock at night, and the sun sets about eight thirty. For all you meteorology majors out there, um, but. Um, Anyway, and then we have a two-week dead period in July, and then we'll start. But um, we're going to go up to cross. We're going to go up across State Line Road in the fall. Play at Galloway. Try to play at Windyke. Try to play at Colonial Country Club, the old, which is the old PGA Tour course. So this is going to be fun. Like I said, our kids enjoyed it. But you know, and I'm not knocking the lake. I love the lake. I'm, I'm not knocking Lewisburg or Hernando. But those kids grow up playing golf. Sure. Our kids don't grow up playing golf. Just 
is what it is. Sure. Okay. You know. So we have some of the equipment that you need uh, that we can provide for you if you're interested. Come see Coach Eilert. He is uh, on D Hall today, but normally he's down on the C Hall. You're right. Yep. C for champion. Today is the last day to purchase your prawn tickets. You can buy your prawn tickets from Ms. Johnson in the comments. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Alexa Kai. Who? Alexa Kai. One more time. Alexa Kai. Who is going to prom? Woo woo. All right, tell us the story. What happened? You had a change of heart. I had a change of heart. My mama, I was in class and my mama FaceTimed me. Did she see the clip? No, she didn't see the clip, but I let her know I wasn't going. My mom FaceTimed me yesterday while I was in class, and she was showing me prom dresses, and I told her, don't buy anything while I wasn't there. So I rushed down 40 minutes to Carrierville. Sounds like a girl. <laughs> don't get anything until I approve. So I rushed down to Carrierville, 40 minutes to Carrierville, and I was trying on dresses. And Where at in Carrierville? Lulu's. And so if y'all need a, a last-minute prom dress, go to Lulu's in Carrierville. There you go. And I was just, and I tried on, and I bought the second dress I tried on because I was tired of trying on dresses. But you found a popping dress that worked, mm -hmm, that was fine. affordable. Yes, it was. And you bought, you already bought your ticket. You bought your ticket yet? Wrong. I purchased my prom ticket today. So today is it. It's happening today, which is the final day to purchase the prom tickets. It's now or never. It is. It is absolutely now or never. Uh, are you going are you going to prom with somebody or is this just a group effort no i'm going solo dolo and have fun doing it too have fun be you prom tickets last day to buy is today okay if you need a uh prom dress lulu's lulu's collierville yes lulu's and collierville has a, a great they have a good selection yes this week's feature vocabulary words are impervious incendiary and incompetent. Impervious, unable to be affected by. Incendiary, tending to stir up conflict, designed to cause fires. Incompetent, not having or showing the necessary skills to do something successfully. Now time for today's announcements. Pay attention, there's a lot of important information we need you to know. Students, the Prom DJ song request form is now live. This prom, we are featuring a local DJ and he wants you to pick up the songs for this prom. You can go to our website at hornlakehigh.com and click the link in the middle of the page to submit your request. Seniors, it is now time to start sending us pictures for your senior video. You can send any videos or pictures at our Gmail account at hornlegtv at gmail.com. That's it for today's episode here at Horn Lake where we are better students always growing and expecting more. So please stay tuned for your lunch meetings and athletic schedules. We'll see you here tomorrow. Have a fantastic day. We're driving cars on